Hey there, this is Paula from TC Helicon, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Blender app with your mobile device and all the great features that come with it. So first things first, let's connect your iOS device to Blender. If you open up the app, you'll see two options available to you, connect to Blender or connect to your friends. Right now, we're just gonna connect directly to Blender. On the device, you'll see a Bluetooth icon. Press that. When the LED lights up, go to the app and press connect. Now that you're connected, you have access to a customizable audio mix that allows you to plug your instrument or amplifier directly into Blender and play with others while adjusting your own personal levels. So as you can see, there's six custom inputs and four headphone outputs. You'll see that we already have a couple of things plugged in. You can see that each plugged in item is highlighted and we've given each one a custom identifier at the bottom of the respective mixers. Now watch what happens when we plug a new instrument into input five. Ta-da! The device automatically recognizes the new instrument and highlights it for you. But what if we wanna change the icon here at the bottom? Well, it's just as simple as one, two, three. Just click the icon, select your new icon, and you're done. Okay, let's adjust the mix. As you've probably noticed, we have a ton of different sliding scales here that are adjustable. Right now, I only have one headphone jack in use. You can see that represented in the app by the virtual headphone jack connected to output A. If I select that output, I can then adjust the levels for each instrument plugged into the blender. So say I wanna monitor my instrument. So I boost that. Then I wanna turn down the vocals and bass here. Then let's add a little bit more drum so I can monitor the beat. There, that's perfect for me. But what if someone else is plugged into headphone jack B? Well, let's try it out. Plug into headphone jack B and voila. Suddenly we see a new virtual jack in the app. If we click it, we get access to a whole new mix that we can then customize any way we like. For this one, let's boost vocals and guitar and quiet the rest. There we go. And if we return to my headphone output A, you can see that my levels haven't changed at all. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward to add inputs and outputs to Blender. Anything you do on Blender will show up in the app. If I press headphone jack A, then press compress, compression will be added to the output. Or maybe I wanna mute my signal. Simply press mute in the app or on the Blender device. It doesn't matter which, all of these actions will be mirrored on the app and vice versa. Another nice feature is that for iOS, multiple users can connect their devices to Blender. It's just as simple to connect additional users as it was to connect the first user. First, click the Bluetooth icon at the top of the app and hit connect a friend at the bottom. Then open the app on your friend's device and select the second option, join a network. And now your friend is connected. Now each user can have access to their headphone jack and adjust their personal levels or compression as they see fit. One thing to note about this mode is that the first connected user is the admin of the group. So if they disconnect, the whole party is disconnected. It's easy to tell if you're the admin. When you go to the connect screen, the admin will see the Blender device on their screen whereas other users won't see this. Of course, you can always change anything by hand without the app, but with the app, it becomes so much easier. While you can press talk button on the app to mute everyone and talk to them through their headphones, the onboard mic is still on the Blender device itself. So talking into your phone or tablet device won't work. Lastly, if you've changed too much and you simply want a clean start, hitting reset on the device will reset all the levels and turn all functions off. Now you're ready to jam with your friends. Thanks for watching.